Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Both ball boys and girls are not trained nearly half as well as the athletes, so their job is to help in the game. You might think their job is just to collect the ball and give it to the player. However, they have to stay alert at all times. And because there is tiny room for error, the job can be very gruesome. Still, these are just kids, so there's always a chance of error, and often they mess up in hilarious fashion. From eyeing a player inappropriately to getting kicked for not giving the ball, here are 10 funny moments with ball boys and girls in sports. Let's begin. Number 10. Us Americans are fond of warning each other not to take your eye off the ball. This young ball boy on the court with tennis star Bethany Matek really followed up on that advice after he was seen staring at something altogether different. Bethany Lynn Matek Sands is flattered, ball boy, but you're probably a little too young. Does anyone else think that this ball boy looks like Jonathan Toez? I think I think so too. Youthful cleavage checkers like this ball boy should not be blamed for their not so subtle staring because Matek Sands is rocking barely any clothes. While it's usually the older creepy guys doing the shameless staring and making the children around them feel incredibly uncomfortable, one cannot blame this ball boy for continuing to grab an eyeful despite being caught red handed. It almost looks like he is in disbelief, but at least these cheeky youngsters got rewarded with a smile back from the friendly tennis player. Number 9. The crowd at the US Open gathered in Arthur Ashe Stadium on Friday night to watch Rafael Nadal and Juan Martin Del Potro play tennis for a spot in the championship match on Sunday. What they got instead was a ruthless murder of an innocent moth and the cover-up of the crime in its aftermath. During the match, a moth entered the court and landed near Nadal, and he tried to pick it up and get rid of it. He couldn't, though, so a nearby ball boy rushed to the rescue and took care of it. And by taking care of it, he murdered it on national television. He murdered it really well. The crowd even cheered him on it which probably didn't make the moth's family feel too great as they flittered around under the light. The moth just wanted to be closer to the action. There was some flopping around and struggling with the ball boy before he finally managed to do it, so he probably didn't appreciate having to do it on TV in front of millions of people either. Here's hoping he got a bonus for that. Number 8. It's not easy being a ball kid on the tennis court. People often say that being a ball kid is a very prestigious job, and the kids who get selected should count themselves lucky that they get to serve the world's best tennis players. That is kind of true. Like, who wouldn't want to run around the court picking up stray balls and, and carrying the sweaty towels of Roger Federer and Maria Sharpova? But it's not all hunky-dory all the time. In this video, a young boy can be seen lobbing balls at Spanish tennis ace Nicolas Almargo before diligently collecting the two rolling back at him. He spins on the spot and sprints back to his place beside the umpire. But the overexcited kid trips emphatically. He can't help but crash headfirst into the advertising board. His recovery is admirable though, standing up straight as if nothing happened before Almargo spins around, wondering where that noise came from. No one seemed to notice, even the commentator ignored it, but the internet couldn't resist. The clip has been shared with thousands. Number 7. England goalkeeper Joe Hart was left in awe after Andrea Perlo struck a beautiful, swerving free kick goal bound during a 2-1 World Cup loss to Italy. The Manchester City star could only look on as the thunderous shot rattled off the crossbar and, thankfully for Hart, behind the goal to keep England in with a chance of success securing a result. Having paused briefly in recognition of the Italian midfield maestro's moment of near perfection, Hart quickly sprung into life in an effort to retrieve the ball and get England on the attack. However, he might have got a touch too excited in the process of restarting the game as he sprinted towards the ball boy, screaming his head off in what seemed to be a matter of life and death. Hart went on to kick the advertising hoarding as well as aim full language in the direction of the little boy, who eventually sent one of the official brazooka balls in the direction of the goalkeeper. 
It's just the World Cup pressure getting to his head there. Number 6. Tennis is a small sport. It's just two players on a pitch playing and the winner is either Nadal or Federer. But sometimes the audience gets to an unlikely winner of the match. If you don't get it, we are talking about the ball boys who are always alert during the whole game, maybe too alert. A ball boy briefly stole the limelight during a semi-final clash between Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer at the Australian Open with an impressive catch after Federer hit a ball into his direction. The open hand catch by the youngster happened at a tense moment in the third set when Federer served to force a tie break. After serving a fault, Federer sent a return from Nadal back towards the ball boy who stuck out his hand to pull off the catch, much to the appreciation of the Rod Laver Arena crowd to give him a big cheer. What a moment for this little guy. Number 5. Andy Murray breezed through to the quarterfinals of the Paris Masters with a ridiculously ruthless 6-1 and 6-love victory over David Goffin. But he did suffer a minor embarrassment on the pitch. Taking his seat after finishing a game, the British number 1 collected his thoughts and had a swig of water before a tennis ball came from nowhere and smacked him in a rather sensitive part of his body. The moment was sudden and Murray was a bit stunned, which made him accidentally curse on camera. He looked desperately at the umpire, who calmed him down by saying it was a mistake and wasn't done on purpose by the ball boy. Fans later debated that the player sent the ball towards the ball boys and girls at a relatively fast speed, so maybe the young boy had a score to settle with Murray. If he did, he definitely got Murray's attention. Number 4. In this video, the players perform a faulted service. The service is not stopped and it lands around the groin area of a ball boy standing firm behind the other player. Ouch! Ugh. This is why we said the ball boys in tennis have a gruesome job. The boy tries to hold up his position straight, but after a while he gives up because of the pain, requests some attention from officials. That is one nasty hit, we have to say. Number 3. At some point, you'd figure clips of people accidentally falling would cease to be funny because you'd be completely wrong. While hustling to get an umbrella for Maria Sharapova during the final game in Italy, this ball boy stumbled and went down hard behind the star tennis player. Man, that flower pot never saw it coming. And we think Sharapova would count her blessings that she didn't get her eye taken out by that dude opening the umbrella. Fortunately, the ball boy quickly got to his feet and provided some shade for Sharapova. The ball boy appears unfazed by the fall, probably because everyone in the crowd was looking at their phones during the changeover. Not being too surprised by the mini earthquake behind her, Sharapova came back from the set down to beat Carla Cerez Navarro. Hopefully that ball boy didn't sustain any injuries. Number 2. In this funny clip, the tennis players in a pair match stop the play for a while and act as ball boys while the actual ball boys and girls are allowed to take control of the court and play just like the official players in a double tie. In a moment of joy and happiness for them, even though there are a lot of flops and mistakes. Number 1. At the top of our list, we have the funniest and also the most brutal moment with a ball boy in soccer. In the second leg of the Capital One Cup semifinal between Swansea City and Chelsea, Eden Hazard kicked Swansea's ball boy in frustration. Hazard was sent off for kicking 17-year-old Charlie Morgan as he attempted to retrieve the ball during the game. After the game, Hazard was given three matches banned by the authorities for kicking the boy. Charlie Morgan did not press charges against Hazard because the moment made him really popular. He even spoke to the player personally after the incident. Due to what happened, Charlie amassed more than a hundred thousand Twitter followers and became the center of jokes from thousands of internet users. Would you want to be kicked like that just so you could become famous? That's our list of 10 funny moments with ball boys and girls in sports. What do you think of this list? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.